Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and all variations thereupon. It is me, I'm Oliver. You know me. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, today I wanted to talk about this big art lie. And I don't know if the how this sort of idea gets started, but it's something that I hear a lot from people who want to draw, but feel like they can't. And I want to eliminate this feeling like you can't draw because it's just a matter of building that skill. Uh, also, the drawing that I'm doing today is a key example of what I want to talk about today. I'm using a simple Bic pen and some Sharpie highlighters, and towards the end there, I use a white jelly roll pen to get some good highlights. Love my jelly roll. Anyway, uh, and I want to be clear, this isn't a lie so much as a huge misconception that no one bothers to correct. Maybe some people even perpetuate it, but this idea always comes to me as somebody who is seeing me drawing and they're like talking about oh i can't draw i can't and the thing i hear most is i want to draw i have this awesome image in my head but it just doesn't end up on the paper or there's some misconception between the brain and the hand and i'm here to tell you that if that's how you go into your artwork you will never be satisfied you will never get exactly what you want and you will never be satisfied for the simple reason that you aren't a perfect human being. No one is. And that picture in your brain is an unrealistic expectation, even for the most advanced of artists, because no one can get that perfectly. The thing in your head needs to be a guide more than a reference. If you need, you can piece together references that match the image in your head, but in the end, the image in your head can only be that, an image in your head. So, Ollie, what the heck am I supposed to do then? Well, the only thing you can really do is let the image in your head be malleable to the image that's on your page. Look at what you have in front of you and mold that into what you can. See what you have and ask yourself what looks good. And this is sort of why I encourage people to try and work with ink a little more. Sketch with a goofy ballpoint pen or a Sharpie. That way, when you mess up, when the line is just a little bit wrong, ask yourself, how do I make this visually look good? What can I do with the image that I've made and what can I do to make it look correct? As soon as you let go of wanting what you're drawing to be perfect, wanting it to match what's in your head exactly, you can get into improving the skills that you have. So maybe you never get that head picture, but golly, you can get real heckin' close. So that's my first advice to any beginning artist, any artist that doesn't know it yet. And this drawing is sort of a key example of that. I didn't have an image going in. Um, and when you go in like that, you tend to be a little happier with the outcome because you don't give yourself any unreasonable expectations going in. You just scribble until what you have looks good. So just to reiterate, there is no problem with having an idea there's no problem with the image in your head, but you need to understand that the image in your head may not be as clear as you want it to be, that your hand will never be able to match that. No artists ever will be. Um, you just need to let what you want it to do bend what you can do. So, and as you grow, what you can do will be more in line with what you want to do. So, um... That concludes my uh, little rant. Sorry if it's weird or confusing, but it's something that I hear a lot and it's a really flawed ideology. Like that's not how art works. And I wanna help people get past that so that maybe they can be creating these incredible images that they want to create. They can get past this unrealistic expectation for themselves and find within them their own skill. And so, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this. I don't know if I was really clear on it. I really hope I was because it's it's important that you that any beginning artist gets this. Um, uh, leave a like if you thought this was helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more. I would love to be able to help you guys grow into the artists that you absolutely are capable of being. Um, and more will be coming soon. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day. Evening. Uh, whatever, whatever time it is for you. I really hope you're not watching this at 3am, but I know 
how my viewing habits can be. So um, have a good one.